These fish are being taken out to sea. The pilchards are feed for much bigger southern bluefin tuna kept in pens anchored an hour offshore. This is basically um, southern bluefin tuna farm ranching and we're just starting the um, fattening process now. Every year, hundreds of thousands of juvenile wild tuna are caught in nets in the open ocean and dragged closer to land. They're fed twice a day. In six months, they'll double in size. An international quota limits how many fish can be taken in the first place. Those in the tuna industry say, after decades of overfishing, that means this is sustainable fishing. To the dismay of environmental groups who say southern bluefin tuna numbers are still critical, the quota for tuna ranching has just been increased. It's an amazing sight down there. The majority of the tuna in this pen will be sold into Japan. There, an average fish fetches about $600. That makes the tuna in this pen alone worth well over a million dollars. Quotas are important, but as the number of people eating fish around the world increases, probably not enough to save the species. Hagen Stair has made a fortune out of tuna fishing. He believes at current levels it's sustainable, but not as demand increases. The village idiot can work out if you push up towards nine billion people in the world. The fish has to come from somewhere and the fish can't come out of the ocean anymore. So at a facility on Australia's south coast, scientists are trying to farm tuna. The ultimate ambition is to be able to farm southern bluefin tuna from juveniles that were produced in our own hatcheries rather than wild caught. Tests so far have failed, but there is confidence it's possible. Kingfish produced here are among the species that have been farmed commercially for years. It wouldn't be much of a life for a southern bluefin tuna, but if the fish can be farmed, it could save the species and meet ever-increasing demand. Andrew Thomas, Al Jazeera, Port Lincoln.